All right, now we are going to talk about servo velocity control mode. Now in this mode, we can control the servo motor, we can control the speed of the servo motor and the direction as well using 0 to 10 volt, just 0 to 10 volt signals. So how to do that? So the first step is we have to define the control mode, which should be velocity or speed, okay? So the control mode, you know, we have three modes in the servo. One is a position, one is velocity and one is torque. Then we have some dual modes. But in this case, we are controlling the velocity, just velocity or speed. So here we are going to do uh, velocity and speed mode in our servo. So there's a parameter which is P1.01. That should be entered as 2. So let's see that in the servo. So this is a parameter list again. So if you see here 1-01, which is this one, 1-01, that should be, so when I double click on this one, it's description, you will see a table. All right, now there's a table we have. If I put 0, 0 in that, this will be position mode. If I put 0, 2, that will be speed mode. If I put 0, 3, that will be torque mode. If I put 0, 4, that will be SZ, which is internal speed. If I put 0, 5, that will be TZ, internal torque. If I put 0, 6, that will be position and speed. That is a dual mode. Then we have a selection, whether to select speed or position. It cannot be two modes together. If I put 0, 7, that it will be dual mode of position and torque. If you put 1, 0, that will be speed and torque. That's an octal system. Okay. So for speed, we have to put 0, 2 in that. So I'm going to put this is control mode. I'll put 2, this is 2, and I'll press enter. After pressing enter, you can also click write drive. So this will write change parameters, press OK. So this will write parameters to my drive, press OK. Then. So my drive has been configured with 0 to, uh, with this velocity mode. Okay. Now next is, we have to wire up the circuit. So in this case, if you see the circuit diagram, we have explained that pin number 8 and 9 is for analog reference, analog reference and the ground. Okay, 9 number is for V reference, 8 is the ground. So we have to connect the potentiometer, we are using a potentiometer to control the speed of the motor. Okay, so you can see the potentiometer is right there in front of the screen. This is a potentiometer, that's the motor. So potentiometer has three terminals, 1, 2 and 3 is listed here. Let me zoom it up a little. This is 1, 2, 3. So the middle wire which gives the proportional signal, the extreme end are connected to, one is going to 10 volt, another is going to 0 volt. The middle one is going to 9 number directly. Okay, so this is giving variable signal. And the 0 volt, which is the reference of the battery or the 10 volt supply, is connected to 9, 8 number, which is the ground. This is how we have to do the wiring. Okay, so let me connect the wires to my potentiometer. In meanwhile, you can check the circuit. So this one end of my potentiometer, I'm connecting this to 10 volt. So this goes to 10 volt. And this end goes to 0 volt of my power supply. That goes to 0 volt. Now the middle one, middle one of, the, of this potentiometer should go to pin number 9. Okay. And we have one more connection, pin number 8. If you see of the servo, that should be connected to zero volt so I'm connecting pin number eight back to zero volt or I can connect here this is my zero volt so that's the wiring all right so for 10 volt I don't have a 10 volt power supply so what I'm doing is I'm using a VFT okay so that's my VFT I'm using its 10 volt and ground signal because you can take any any 10 volts that is going to potentiometer and that is going to pin number eight and nine and this pin is already connected this is for turning servo on and off this is already connected there okay so next is all we have to turn on the servo now one more thing if you see the parameter here before we proceed this param we have changed this parameter and this has a red dot there red dot means valid when reboot so we have to stop the servo and start it again to valid this parameter so let me just turn it off and turn it on again so I have an MCB on my trainer which turns off the servo and I will start it again now I have restarted my servos now the first step to check this uh, velocity mode is first we have to run the servo right now servo is not ready so you can see that I can move it with my hand okay now I will actuate the servo now I have to make sure this potentiometer should be somewhere in between. Okay, I'll start the servo. Right now my servo is connected. Okay, all I have to do is I have to just turn my potentiometer 
to actuate its speed. I think so. Hold on. There were some wiring issues. Now the wiring is properly connected. Now you can see that this is my potentiometer. I will rotate it to one end. At this end, that will stop. This is the extreme one end of my potentiometer. If you see that one. Okay, now I'm going to rotate this one which will run my servo. So I'm rotating in one direction and you can see that servo starts running. Okay, and this is proportional to the signal coming from the potentiometer. Alright, wait a second. Yeah, now if I rotate it more, you can see that the speed is increasing of the servo motor. If I rotate it more, speed increases and it goes to maximum at this end. Okay, now the maximum speed of the servos is defined by a parameter now default is 3000 but right now this is not running at 3000 so this has been pre-configured to some speed so let me show you where is that I turn off my servo now you must make sure your servo should be off when you change the parameter so I'll go to the parameter list again and I'll press read drive so when you go to parameter number one you will see maximum value of analog speed command this is at set at 1000 rpm all right i can change that to 3000 rpm and i press enter and i press write drive now the wiring is same everything is same now you see the response when i rotate this potentiometer now this is running at faster speed if i go beyond This is running at 3000 RPM presently at 10 volts. So even if you need at 10 volts, you need just 100 RPM, you can change the, you can change the RPM again. So let me show you that again. Now in, in this case, I'm going to put, I put 300, okay? I took the drive, press OK. I don't know what it's written. Now again, I'll turn on the servo. I'll take it to full 10 volts. Now this is running at very less speed which is generally 300 rpm okay so that's how you can vary the speed of your servo depending upon the voltage all right so this is the one example i'll just put it to lesser speed okay so you can see that servo is running in one direction okay this was the circuit for running the servo, uh, servo in forward direction to change the direction what we need to do is we need to interchange this these pins so if i click on the second slide now we have interchanged that now when you interchange that your pin number which is giving you variable signal goes to pin number 8 previously it was going to pin number 9 now it's going to pin number 8 and 9 number is connected to 0 volt this will change the speed to explain that um, in my servo system what I'm going to do is I'm going to change pin number 8 and pin number 9 okay so if you see that this is one direction and if you see this trainer I have connected pin number 8 and 9. I'm going to interchange these, these two pins. This is pin number 8 and pin number 9. So I'll connect this to here, connect this to here. Now you'll see that servo runs in another direction. Okay, and this same, the same potential can be used to scale the speed again, to change the speed. This is maximum, this stop. So just by changing uh, these two leads, 8 number and 9 number, you can change the speed of the servo change the direction sorry not speed change the direction of the servo and the same potential may can be used to change the speed so it's just the twisting of eight and nine number to change the direction it's pretty easy okay so now next is we have to design the circuit to change the speed using a switch all right so we'll see that in the next video thank you